some nice brook trout. Not too shabby for the high you end us, yeah. Nice fat male, half about that. Let's let it go. There you go. Oh yeah. Hello friends, welcome to my channel. It is adventure time yet again. Backpacking season is here. Ah, flipping love this time of year. Love when you can get up to the high country and throw on a backpack. Uh, There's two weekends in a row. I'm doing an overnighter, going to a favorite brook trout lake. Uh, one I've been to many times. Have not filmed this one before, but it's a nice brook trout in here. So yeah, got a little hike ahead of me, and then a bunch of bushwhacking. I'm excited. Let's go hit the trail. Let's go. All right, let the hike begin. Let's, let's do it. Hit the trail. On this trip, I'm breaking in a brand new pair of uh, solo fugitives. This is my fourth pair. I've been using them since I think, ah, geez, 2006, I think. They usually ask me about four seasons, four to five, so. Uh, yeah, super comfortable boots. Boots. I got them in the winter on sale. They were 100 bucks off, so got a killer deal on them. So, first trip on them. Well, I've made it to my destination. Uh, usually, I set up camp first thing, but I have not done so because I passed one lake that doesn't winter kill, and I saw no signs of life in the outlet or the inlet, the zero, and which did not give me high hopes for the lake that I'm at. I'm not seeing seen a s single surface, and it was mirror. It's murky. Um, I'm gonna try, but I'm gonna fish for a couple hours, and if I get nothing, I'm gonna pack out in a day hike to a completely different lake so i'm hoping there's fish but so far no signs of life all right i was just going to say this might be very short lived and i just saw one surface so they're still fish in here at least a fish i got my midge tip on my 10 foot six weight scott centric point flies a black and red balance leech size 14 with a long tail all of zebra demon is my mid fly and just a holographic soft hackle up top right, go time Just had my first tug, did not feel big. Um, it was like a couple years ago, or I don't know, the last year. And now I'm starting to see fish jump out of the water, and they're all small, but I'm hoping for some old fish. I've not seen any big fish, I've seen small fish jump, and they're surfacing right here. So, try here for a minute. Um, it's not deep, I've got to lower my indicator all the way. <laughs> See if this can get an eat. I turn off my camera. Get an eat. <laughs> oh, and he's not. He's not tiny. I think he's uh, the mid generation. So, what is he on? He is on the the balance bruised. Pretty chunky. Uh, oh, nice, decent brook trout actually. You can't see. Come here, buddy. I don't have my new hickey to let get it out, so. Come here, come here, come here. There we go. It's chunky. Yeah, I'm looking for ones that are like two or three years older than this guy, is what I'm hoping for, but that is first fish, so I will take it. Fish number one. Swim away, buddy. Thank you so much. Well, I have camp set up. Uh, took another little nap. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Yeah. I mean, not too many good spots I could find, but there's a lot to do. Uh, I'm going to be eating well tonight. I packed in a, a well, I froze a New York strip, big one. And uh, I'm going to do some green beans with melted Parmesan. Uh, yeah, I got some Chicago steak seasoning for the steak. It's going to be good. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be tasty. So. Anyways, yeah, camp set up, so now let's go, let's go fish. Let's go catch some fish. Pretty solid tug on the midge tip. Did not stick. Well, certainly not fast action. Caught the one and had three other bumps. I haven't seen any surface action in a bit, and every one I have, except for, you know, in the last hour or so, I've been out in the middle. 
Yeah, it's murky. I've never seen it like this, so. Who knows? We'll keep plugging away. Just starting to sprinkle a little. Just to get up here. 0% chance down the valley, but up this high, it's always a possibility. Yeah, I just had to shoot down. Did not even stick at all. Just went doop. I'm paying attention. My, act, my indicator actually went down. <laughs> it's like, yeah, man. I was just about to put on a dry. What is he on? He's on. Balance bruised. Micro leech. Yeah, well, yeah, not one of the older ones, but man, there's only fish number two if he actually stays. This will be the fifth take. Healthy, I mean, definitely a good one for the Uinas, but I'm on some of the guys that are came for two or three years older. Fish number two, man, not a fast action day. Thanks, buddy. If I switched to my other rod, strip in a minnow, and then right when I cast out with gun, my bobber was underwater. Yeah, poop. Oh, well. Here comes the hail. <laughs> Might be hard to start a fire now. So on our last trip, there's like a, know, a slight chance each day and there was not a drop. This thing said nothing but sun down in the valley. Closest town I could look at. Well, that was crazy. I put my camera away and had to sit in the tree. It, it just started dumping. <laughs> Oh man, all the rocks are steaming. <laughs> There's old remnants of a fire here, so... Man, I can hear thunder off in the distance. I'm going to hurry and try to cook my food, steak, and beans before... before it comes back. So much for nothing but sun. Some butter and French beans. It's cold and I'm going to do a steak. Add a bunch of parmesan. A lot. Get the steak going. It's a New York strip with Chicago seasoning. I think it's Weber or Weber. I'm not sure which brand. It's gonna be tasty. It's coming along pretty good. Uh, I'm excited. It's gonna be super tasty. It is time to eat. It is done. Ooh, I'm excited. It's gonna be so good. Not bad for a backpacking meal, if I do say so myself. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, <laughs> looks so dang good. Uh, I am excited. It's gonna be tasty. Oh yeah, food time. Oh my gosh, oh my heck, it is so flipping good. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, it's worth freezing. I'm stuffing it in the middle of your pack. Oh my gosh, super tasty. I was hoping to get an evening bite, that's why I cooked dinner early. And I'm seeing not a single surface anywhere around the lake. Uh, I was standing on my line. <laughs> I cast out and I was trying to get off my foot and all of a sudden my rod started tugging. <laughs> uh, I got a bruise with a chartreuse head. Let's check the little guy. It's again, not the generation. You can't see it. Not the generation I was hoping for, but... I think we're get this is only fish number three. Oh shoot. You know, that's actually a nice yeah, this, he's a younger generation, but he's healthy. Oh, that's, yeah, okay. Very nice. Nice male. Pretty. Gotta go. Sorry, buddy. Uh, very nice. Now the I'm looking for the guy who's just a little older than in that generation. 
I think they're two or three years older. I've not seen one yet. I did see a surface out in the middle. It was pretty big. It might have been one, but I don't know. Chew about the fire time. One of my very favorite parts of backpacking. Yeah, the fire, listen to some tunes, drink a soda. Love it, love it. Well, it is morning. Um, usually I do breakfast first, but I slept in like an hour and a half longer than I in intended. Felt great, but sun's already on the water, so I'm gonna go fish for a bit and then come back and do breakfast. So let's go. It is a beautiful morning for sure. Two rods for me is all, always a waste of time. So, cast out my indicator, set it down, went to go grab my other rod, and it was already under by the time I got to it. It was off. Gosh dang it! Shoot! Ah, crap. Well, no fish. Uh, I think I had two on the, the bruise leash I was stripping in, and like four times the bobber went under, but didn't land one. So I'm going to cook me up some oatmeal and try to pack up camp. Probably fish for a couple hours before I bail out. Got to catch more than three fish. Not exactly the action I was hoping for, or the size, but oh well. Still love getting out. So it is oatmeal time. Boiling up some water. Back out on the water, fish for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, tops, and go pack up, finish packing, or finish packing up, and get the heck out of here. See these bands are swimming around, they're really dark. I haven't seen some, some, so many that dark. I love on the indicator, so I've switched back to my midge tip, put on a all zebra demon is my point fly, damsel, and then uh, mid mid flies is fast sinking scud. Nice fish on, uh, I think it's the balance, uh, fast sinking scud, I think. Uh, it's a nice fish. Still think he's not the older generation, but maybe. Let's see, he's definitely the nicest one I've had on. Alright, oh, it's a nice fish. Yeah, this is a stud of a fish. I still think he's just a three year old. Oh, he is a solid. solid. Oh, that is nice. Oh, no, that's the older ones. No, so that is a stud. Uh, still think he's only the four year old, but very nice. Ah, fast thinking scud. Nice brook trout. Not too shabby for the high uendas. Yeah. I was actually looking for the old uh, ones that are a couple years older than this, but this solid, thick, nice male on a fast sinking scud. Let's let him go. And, uh, about a half hour more I can fish. So. And we'll head out. Well, pack up. That's going to take me well over an hour because I'm the slowest person on the planet when it comes to that. And we'll catch another one of those guys. That thing was thick. That was awesome. I made it worth it. That's only the fourth landed fish. I've missed quite a few, but there's some tiny fish in here too. I think that's why my indicator kept going down and not sticking. Yeah, I just missed one. It felt solid like that last one. Had him on for about three seconds. He got off uh, the exact time that I got my camera on, so I don't know if I got any of it, but it was, felt, felt about like the last one, pretty solid. Another oh, solid one, yeah. For like two seconds, and then off. Dang it. Hard take, hard take. I don't think he's as big, but it was a hard take. Yeah, he's not. I'm guessing he's one of the younger fish. And he, I believe, he was on the all zebra demon. Yep. Yeah. He's decent. Not as big as the last guy. Yeah, yeah it's decent though. All the zebra demon. Oh. Man, I wish I didn't have to go. Everybody, right in the upper lip. Oh, that's solid. Not as big as that last one, but decent. 
Yeah, solid, yeah. Well, fine, yeah. Not as nice as the last one, but nice. Yeah, nice female. Happy all that? Let's let her go. Solid brook trout. Let's let her go. Yeah. Very nice. So, hey, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to try to catch one more than I got a bell. I already stayed longer than I should have. I'm going to try to catch one more. Unless I catch one fast and I'll try to catch two. <laughs> but I, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I always stay longer than I, I should. The curse, one more cast, you know. Like, like three casts later, hooked up again. This is a definitely younger generation. Steve, chunky and fun. What is he on? I don't know. He appears to be on the fast thinking scud. Yep. That. Ah, fun. It always picks up right when you have to go. <laughs> it makes you want to stay. Oh, that guy's solid too. Oh, look at that. Look at the net ring. Nice that. That's a solid female. Nice. Oh, man, so much fun. Yeah, I don't want to go. But I got to. Right, but one more fish, because that one was really quick. One more fish. Maybe two. I mentioned this in my video before, but I'm going to mega shout out to Rich Osla for sharing his knowledge in that pattern. Cause, and I've caught so many fish on a fast sinking scud. A lot of big fish. And his mega orange scud, like a lot of big fish on that thing. So, super effective patterns. If you don't have some in your box, get some. I think you can you can order them from Rich himself at richossoff.com. They are flipping money. Oh, duh. You know, just had a hit. Dang it. I cast in two seconds in before I even started to strip. Fish on. Gosh dang it! Us. I gotta go. I don't want him. This is fun. What we got here is he on the fast sinking scud again. It's getting neat. And then the fatty. Oh, that guy's really fat. <laughs> not terribly long, man. He's chunky. That is a pump brook trout. Not, not too shy for the high one. Just let her go. Nice. Yeah, very solid. Nice female brook trout. Wants to stay in the net. So, uh, thank you so much. One more, one more. I'm not gonna get home in time for what I plan. But it's just too much fun. I am. I do have to go here shortly, so I'm not packing out in the rain. That's never fun. Toughest man. There's only what three casts later. So it feels like a decent fish. And he is on. Oh, nice, pretty, pretty one. Uh, he is on the all zebra demon. Uh, it's about the same size as that last one. Maybe a little bigger. We're pretty. Ah, gosh dang it. Ah, I love it. Don't want to go. Oh man, that's a nice one. Yeah, I'm gonna get a picture of this guy too. Oh uh, yeah, another fatty. Oh yeah. Nice chunky. Gosh dang it. This is, oh, I don't want to go. Nice male. Check that guy out. Awesome. Fat male. Happy about that. Let's let him go. Very nice. Uh, so much fun. I don't want to go. Nice, nice male. Let's let him go. Thanks, buddies. Oh, there's another one right there. <laughs> fun, fun. My last fish has turned into like four fish, so this really will be the last fish. Yeah. I roll. I was just rolling up the cast again, and a big old fatty came halfway out of the water trying to get the damsel. Oh, gosh dang it. Oh, oh man. Dang it. With a biggie. I had two separate wax on that last cast, but 
Didn't stick. Well, that is it for the fishing. Uh, I stayed far longer than I had planned, but it was super fun. Uh, since the last fish, I missed a couple, and I just missed what felt like a solid one for like two seconds. I recast, and I saw one splash. Turtled in, and the jerk stole my fascinating scud. So uh, that's gonna be it. Uh, now I gotta go hike back to camp and pack up and get out of here. Uh, I'll try to go fast, but I'm so slow. So pack up time, my least favorite part. I made it back to camp. Pack up time. Well, that is all she wrote. Uh, super fun. The fishing was slow at first, then I picked up better at the end and all packed up, ready to hike out. I was slow as usual, but not quite as slow as normal. So it was fun. I got into a few chunky brook trout. I very much appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Let's go hit the trail and head home.